Hello, this is Dennis Wing from Guitar Lessons. Here to go with your tip of the week. It's on being comfortable with a wide range of tempos, feels, and grooves. So a lot of times in a lesson, in order to apply what we're learning, I'll ask the student to set up a groove. And then the other day, one student was like, you know, can you help me on that? Because I always have the same thing, which is like medium, 4-4. Four, four. And this is very typical of students. Like they'll play, let's say the chords are A and D, right? They'll play, uh, I'll ask them to pick a groove. And they'll always pick like 4-4, four, four, medium to medium slow. Uh, and with a straight feel. So like, it'll be like. Now there's nothing wrong with that. With that was nothing wrong with that kind of a feel or a groove, but you know, if that's all you do, and usually, you know, for students like beginners or intermediates, early intermediates, whatever, uh, you know, their range of comfort zone is very small. So I'm gonna give you three ways to expand your horizons. Okay, number one. Think about tempos and groups. Now, this is just uh, a rough, and I didn't spend a lot of time on this, but um, like me, like slow, I categorize them slow, medium, slow, medium, medium, fast, and fast. So slow is like 40 to 70. So just select your metronome and let's try 50. Now, within each tempo, you can do straight feel or swing feel. Swing feel means there's a triplet, underlying triplet on each beat, like da 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 And the straight feel means there's two or four subdivisions per beat, like this. That would be the straight feel. So straight feel would be... And then a, um, a swing feel or triplet feel would be more like 12-8, not really swing. It'd be like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, two. And doing the riffy stuff is optional, but that's uh, that's an uh, example of a straight, slow, and a swing slow. Next, we go to like medium slow, which I categorize as 70 to 100. And uh, so let's, this is 85 right here. Straight feel would be. And swing feel would be. Medium, I categorize as 100 to 180. So here's like 140. Straight feel would be. Swing feel would be. That's called a shuffle. Okay, so that's medium. And then medium fast, I put 180 to 250. So here's like 200. Um, that's a straight feel. Swing feeling. Okay, and then fast would be anything over like 250. And my metro actually only goes to 250. <laughs> So, um, but in order to demonstrate, like, let's say, you know, 300, then you can just set the metronome at 150 and have it be on two and four. But that's a whole nother story. I'll set it to 250 right now. Um, straight feel. Swing feel. Um, And then, so that'll, that'll get your blood plumping right there. And then there's also different time signatures, okay? In addition to the tempo, uh, tempo range, there's also being comfortable in different time signatures. Now, let me just go back to like a regular medium tempo, like 130. Uh, there's, obviously there's 4-4. Four, four. Like, one, two, three, four. That's what we've been playing in the whole time. 
time. There's also three four. One, uh, three, one, two. Okay, and then there's six eight. Um, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Had a twelve eight, which is like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which you would never really count. You usually count the four four thing. So that's uh four, four, three, four, six, eight, and twelve eight. And then there's five and seven and odd time signatures. They're not that hard once you get used to them. Here's five, three, four, five. That happens to be a three plus two five, where it's like one, two, three, one, two, switch, two, three, one, two, but you could also do two plus three, like um, one, two, one. Within that, there, I forgot to do this on the other ones, but within any of those, there's straight versus swing. You could have a swing five or a straight five. A straight five might sound like this. Um, three, four, five. That was a three plus two straight, like one, two, three, one, two. And then a two plus three swing might be... Um, Etc. And then let's go to seven. Um, seven could be four plus three or three plus four. Let's do four plus three first. Like, or e even better is two plus two plus three. Like one, two, one, two, or one, two, three. Swing two plus two plus three. I'll do a straight three plus two plus two next, which would be one, two, three, or one, two, one, two. And then there's also nine. Nine could be three sets of triplets. We're going like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And then you could also do nine as like four plus five or five plus four. Let's do four plus five first, which even then you could get into like four plus five could be two plus two plus three plus two. Let's do it like that. Like I, I find that twos and threes are easier to manage than bigger groups. So let's do two plus two plus three plus two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> And then uh, nine could also be, you know, five plus four. So let's do two plus three plus two plus two in a swing. So this is one, two, a one, two, three, one, two, one, two. expands your horizons with tempos and uh, time signatures. And in the next, in part two, we're going to do how to do this with two other methods. Okay, this part is 
showing you two other ways besides the using the metronome like we did last time. Okay. Now uh, this way, there's two two ways I'm going to show you. Number one is when you you just take a famous tune that you like and mimic the tune. So our chords are still A and D like we did last time. A and D. And uh, you just pick a famous song that you love. I'm going to pick um, Sugar Magnolia, The Grateful Dead. I don't know why that popped in my head. But you just think of the song. I don't, it's not, I don't know if it's in A, but Sugar Magnolia. And you just get the tempo. It's not going to sound like Sugar Magnolia because we're only doing A and D. But you just get the tempo and the groove in your, in your mind. And then you can mimic that kind of sound. So if I ask you to set up a groove with just an A and D chord and you like that song, and you just think... So it's fine. It feels good. I mean, I did two bars of A and two bars of D. It's fine either way, but it feels good because you like that song and you like the groove. Now let's look at another one. Um, when the Saints Go Marching In. All right. I don't know why I just happened to see that. Uh, when the Saints Go Marching In. So you just think of it and then you put the groove on it. Like, Of course, there's technical stuff that comes up with some of these grooves, like maybe you can't do certain things technically in order to pull off that groove. Well, that's something that gives you something to work on, you know. Usually if it's a tempo extreme, then students aren't as likely to be able to do it. And that's why they drag everything to the middle, you know. Let's pick uh, Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. This is a like a 12-8, like, um, once I live like that. So how do you apply that to our A and D thing? You just like... Okay. One other tune would be... Um, one other tune that comes to my head is I Shot the Sheriff. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what key it's in, but... Like... I think I sing it in B minor, so that's why I'm thinking B minor. But if going back to our A and D thing, you'd be like. And bingo, instant groove. And then the third way to expand your rhythmic horizons, in addition to just using the metronome at different tempos and experimenting with straighter swing, as well as taking famous songs and mimicking the feel of them, the third way is. Get an app. Use an app for drums. This is one of my favorite uh, apps called Drum Genius. And um, and the very first, uh, it, I went to all all uh, all loops. And the very first one that came up, it's Pretty Purdy Shuffle in three four. So this is a killing groove, and that's the way a lot of these grooves are. Uh, in fact, using a uh, not just a drum machine, but an app like this where the grooves are like more creative and more uh, they're more famous this is what led me to record my whole album what are the odds which because i got into playing odd uh, time signatures i mean i've always been into playing odd time signatures but some of these grooves like that are in 13 and 15 whatever else like they're you have to learn how to play in them and then it gives you ideas for songwriting but that's a whole nother story let's listen to the pretty purdy um one, two, three, 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 one, two, three,
it's funny that this says 4 plus 5, but I hear it as 5 plus 4. Like, I hear it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, go. an interesting one and then but if you do it without the clave let's see if it still sounds like five plus four now i can better hear the four plus five like one two three four one two three four five one two four one two three four five one two three four one two three four five one two Okay, so that's a fun one. Let's go to another random drum genius groove. I'm just going to scroll some to some like three quarters of the way through. This says Samba Cruzado, Cru Cruzado, whatever you pronounce it. And you have to download it if you haven't done already, and then it turns green. And then... So... change it to major seven chords to make it sound more samba y you know rather than just a regular triad chord but uh but that this opens up i hope this opens up your mind to the possibility you know starting with rhythm is a great way to to expand your horizons you know if you if you haven't played a samba before or if you haven't played a, a pretty purdy shuffle in three or any of those grooves the nine eight etc etc then it's a great way to do it so just to summarize what we did, the all three ways to expand your tempo and time signature horizons was one, just mess around with the metronome, fast, slow, medium, and uh, whether it's straight or shuffle, and the time signature, different time signatures, four, four, three, four, six, eight, twelve, eight would be the common ones, and then five and seven and nine would be sort of uncommon, and then after that is just like, you know, very uncommon ones like thirteen and fifteen and seventeen, etc. Right? That's all under category one, using the metronome. Number two, famous songs. Get a famous song in your head and picture yourself strumming along to it. And that's how you can create a vamp uh, easily with that. And then the third one was use a, a, an app, a drum app, to expand your rhythmic horizons. All right. If you want to do a free trial for Guitar Lessons Ithaca, my name is Dennis. I'm the head teacher. Uh, you would just contact me by going to guitarlessonsithaca.com. Click on where it says claim your free trial and we'll do it either by Zoom or in person and see if the school is a good fit for you and you'll learn a ton, I guarantee it, and have a blast. See ya!